video we will see how to create our first Spring Boot application on an M1 MacBook. So we will go to the Spring Initializer, start Spring.io. This URL, this I will put it into the description below. And from here, so we are going for the Maven project. I'm uh, leaving the language to default Java. And using the most stable version which is 2.7.0 let's name the group to be com.example instead of this say first for check artifact to be let's say demo 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 for string boot and then you can choose java version based on your preferences i will leave up to let's say 11 and then from here we can add the dependencies so for the time being i am just adding a spring web which is nothing but a basic dependency for the spring application to run and click on the generate it will give me a zip file that I can save on the folder of my choice so I am choosing the desktop over here let's save it and once it's downloaded we will close this and now I will unzip it so if you see here it will give me few things over here the md file, the maven executable, the form.xml, the source folder with things which are of our interest and now let's import this thing into the uh, IDE and then we'll start the uh, development or we'll check what we can do about it So this is our project getting imported into the IntelliJ and let's wait for the IntelliJ to download the dependencies in the background and then we can proceed further. Meanwhile let's take a look on the things that we have over here. So this is the project here in which we have the source folder and some of the files are created by the IntelliJ itself and some are by the download what we have downloaded so if you see the pom.xml see now the version is 2.7.0 which we have chosen after this we have the group id as we have selected over there the first project the artifact id the demo uh, the jar which will be created will be created by the name demo and then the java version we have selected java 11 and as you see over here the spring boot starter web was the dependency that we chose when we were creating our project and the starter test dependency comes automatically with it and this is the default plugin that will come along with it so as you see all the dependencies are resolved let's see what else we have here so in the source folder there are two folders main and test in the test we have a test file and in the main we have again two folders the resources and the and in the java folder we have the application so let's see what is in the application dot properties it's empty by default we can add all the application related properties over here now we'll go to the demo application so now if you see this is the main method responsible for running our application and since there are no properties defined so if I click on here and click on run the application will boot up and since we haven't defined the port or anything 
so it will basically run on the uh, default 8080 port only so if you see over here it will give you a spring banner of spring version 2.7.0 post which the location of the folder from where it is running and then if you see here the tomcat is started on port 8080 right so let's see now let's go to our browser and if we try to hit this endpoint yeah so now our application is up it is showing the white label error page so now our application is running let's stop it from here now the application has stopped and if I go here and now I uh, try to hit this URL again yeah see this now the connection has been refused because the service is not running anymore so I guess this is our first application that we have created using the springstarter.io and I hope you will like it and will proceed further in our next videos let me know if you want to know anything else in the comments thank you